ho, 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 ho. Ooh, it's been a while. Here's the new plan, guys. I jump around to projects so much, so you know what? Whatever the heck I'm doing during the week, I'm gonna share with you. I was gonna do a dragster style Exia, um, but I didn't quite like how it was going, so I think we're just gonna go something a little bit more simplistic. And I picked up a couple of kits, so. Let's see what we got here. This is my rescue Hayaku Shiki. <laughs> I got him from a secondhand bookstore. Some poor, unfortunate Gunpla builder had to get rid of his collection or maybe got out of the hobby. Um, and I found like this pristine Hayaku Shiki here. The only thing it didn't come with was the box um, and the decals, which I don't blame this builder. I wouldn't have put decals on this either. You can see a lot of thumbprints and fingerprints and stuff like that. So that kind of sucks. Came with the manual and everything. I put it on the system base here. I'm sure you guys are familiar with system bases. But yeah, there's a system base. You can get them really cheap. They're like 10 bucks. You can put the weapons on the side. This is unpainted, obviously, it's white. I'm always at a loss with these. The anime always shows everything like really gorgeous and pretty. So it kind of leads to an interesting, unique challenge when you're going to go customize your kits. So I kind of just left the system base the way it was because this kit's gorgeous. But yeah, check it out. Like it's the MG, everything like that. It comes with all the weapons. It even came with the beam sabers. I'm sure you guys are in no shortage of beam sabers. Here's the picture of everything that I saw when I was there. I think I'm gonna go back to see if I can pick up some of the other kits. So hopefully they're still there. No project for this one. I am going to actually polish it because I've had a couple of people ask if they can send me their older kits. So I gotta figure out a way to see if I can get some of your older kits and do like fun stuff with it. All right, cool. I'm just gonna show you what a mess <laughs> being a Gunpla builder actually is. Okay, so this XE is in various states of done and not done. The whole pink one here, I haven't touched anything on these pieces here. So it's, it's a lot, it's a lot. I honestly don't know where I left off on this. This is a pretty old project. Um, but what it did is this Exia ended up becoming um, pretty much like a trial project. All of it is hand painted right now. So the only thing that's not hand brushed are these pieces here. I still have to do the inner frame because I had it gunmetal silver from Tamiya. I have since decided to play around with some hand painting. I think these were like bronze before. I was really trying to go for like a formula dragster. These are hand painted. I'm still working on them. Let me just put you guys on. When it comes to hand painting, I'm such a fan of the Army Painter war paints in air. Like I have them air because I usually airbrush my kit but I actually use these for hand brushing um, a lot. That's what I did all the black on this. And this guy right here, I picked this up. It's from like scale color. It's the metal alchemy scale color and it's like black metal. All of these pieces here are hand painted with that black metal from the scale color metal alchemy. So again, highly suggested. It's just a gorgeous color. This is, I'm pretty sure a Tamiya acrylic paint that I had. This is People Eater. I have this on my Orc Army for Warhammer, but this is a purple. This is People Eater from Turbo Dork. Those aren't even primed. These were all bronze. These are more of that black metal and literally just prime pieces too. I'm gonna be finishing this up probably this weekend and I will be sharing that. You can see it on my Instagram. That's usually where I'm most active. These guys right here are also hand painted with that metal alchemy. Let me know if you guys want a tutorial on the way that I hand paint. If I were to suggest like a first kit to try hand painting, I would say an Exia. An Exia, an MG Exia, if you can get the 1100, I think that one was like $30 when I got it. Um, it's not too bad. So you don't have to worry about ruining like a really, really nice kit or anything like that. Simple lines, clean lines, the XE is a great kit. I would suggest that to practice either hand painting or airbrushing or whatever without having to worry about ruining something that's expensive or a kit that you care a lot about. I love the Exia. It is an amazing design for practicing your gunplay skills or your modeling skills in general. So definitely pick one up. The skill level three HG Alex that I got is from shopgoodwill.com. I thought it was unbuilt, but it is built, which kind of sucks, but I particularly wanted this one because it came with the Chobomb armor. It's the armor from British Tank Tech. It's basically a composite armor. It's really, really heavy, which is why the Alex got these extra thrusters on the legs to be able to maneuver the heavier armor pieces that it has. I can go into that forever. I'm so sorry, we'll not bore you with that. But I figured if I get into tanks, I'm gonna have a whole bunch of tanks and that's gonna become even bigger problem than all the Gundams are. So this is my compromise, is getting this guy here. Now, 
he does not come with his v fin which really it sucks but i'm happy i have the armor pieces that has everything else in it except for the v fin i'm gonna fix the v fin or make one or find one something and yeah he's just gonna be kind of a statue i'm just gonna make him a statue but this is exciting did you guys also notice that inside there there's like sd dendrobium pieces not the whole thing any of you guys have the sd dendrobium let me know because like i'm trying to finish it <laughs> that reminds me Ooh, i actually have information to share did you guys hear at least in most places the dendrobium is like coming back to some places i know for a fact gundam place is going to have pre-orders for the dendrobium and it's starting to come back into the states which is so exciting because i always missed out on it so be looking out for that. Bandai was working on completing more of its manufacturing facility, so I would imagine that we're gonna start to see a lot of kids come back. My fingers are crossed for the O. The MGO, hopefully it comes back to the States, I would love to see it, and I want the Dendrobium too when it comes in. If you get Shop Goodwill, this is pretty much how everything is gonna come. Uh, if it's built. So I'm just gonna start sharing everything just anything and everything so let me know how you guys like that format it'll get me more active here on youtube and get you guys content and entertain you way better than just creating really really hard intense videos that take a very long time to do so yeah that's pretty much it for today uh, i will see you guys very very soon hit me up on all my other social medias i love talking to you guys and yeah i will see you guys in the next one Remember, I'm sharing everything, so I'm not responsible <laughs> for anything that comes out after this video today. I'm just going to be producing content, so sorry. So let me know if you want to see the rest of the Exia, uh, the Hayakushiki, uh, yeah. So that's it. I will see you guys very, very soon. Thank you for watching today. Don't forget to check all of my social medias and everything like that. Bye. See you. Keep building. Have fun. And yeah. Bye.